for Joe, Kim, and their Uncle Tim, the adventure with the circus began that day when they saw a man putting up a poster that Kim just fell in love with. Look, I can read that. That says Ringling Brothers Barnum Valley Circus presents a living unicorn. What's a unicorn, Uncle Tim? A unicorn is an animal with a horn in the middle of its head. People have been looking for it for thousands of years. No one's ever found it, because it doesn't exist. But it says that we can see it. You believe everything you read. I take it you don't think they have a unicorn at the circus, Joe? Nope. I do. Well, I guess I'm in the middle of this one. I don't know. Say, let's go to the circus and find out. Yeah, let's go, let's go. And that's how it all began. And the next thing they knew, they were there, with Kim leading the way. Excuse me, mister. Can you tell me where the unicorn is? Have no fear, little dear. The unicorn is very near. Excuse me, Mr. Clown. Can you tell me where the unicorn is? You're getting hot. Close to his spot. The unicorn? Why, sure, I can take you to it. Come on. But don't dawdle. I'm late. I'm really quite, quite late. He said he'd take us to it. Who is he, anyway? He looks like anybody. I am anybody, which is a pretty good thing to be, too. So, you're looking for the living unicorn, eh? Well, that means you're looking for magic and wonder and excitement. You're looking for anybody that can become... Somebody! Hey! You're the Ringmaster! Yes, and a very good one, too. And as Ringmaster, I'm a very rare bird. You know that there are more presidents of the United States than there are Ringmasters for the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus? Is it a good job? My boy, it's a wonderful job. Do you know that every day, every night, somewhere on the face of this earth, I present elephants and tigers and horses and llamas, all trained by the living legend, Gunther Gable Williams. Would you like to meet him? You bet! Well, I'll tell you. You're going to meet him and his family personally, as we all will see him in action. Don't forget the unicorn. You'll also see and meet teeterboard acrobats, incredible aerial artists and the trapeze artists and the clowns, and the creature of fable and fantasy, the living unicorn. unicorn. Wherever you are at this very moment, you're about to enter another world, a world of thrilling, fantastic, fabulous, and unbelievable, and before your very eyes, the very believable, the greatest show on Earth, the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, Children of all ages, producer Kenneth Feld proudly presents the 115th edition of Ringling Brothers at Barnum and Bailey Circus, the greatest show on Clowns, a mountain of mirth to entertain you! And girls, 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 to delight us, excite us, and invite us to discover that the circus has it all! Does it take to make a circus? The one day a year you can recall The bass drum, the thunder, a world full of wonder The circus has it all We've got what it takes to make a circus The fun of a fair or music hall The sun's so amazing With spotlights a-blazing The circus has it all
got what it takes to make a circus The one thing here you can recall The sight's so amazing With spotlights a-blazing The circus has it all But we have every kind of animal From the wildest to the tame None can compare They're exotic and rare There is every kind of animal And creature you can name There are elephants and the Sharing the spotlight with Gunther in ring one is his lovely wife, Sigrid. She was once a top fashion model in Europe, but now has grown accustomed to the animals just as much as her husband has. In ring three is the lovely Tina Gable, daughter of the Gables. She's grown accustomed to the horses as well, the Liberty horses. The name of the act comes from the horses being untethered, at liberty to do whatever they want. With the Gable family in control, that means they follow precise verbal commands. In rings one and three, Sigrid and Tina show their mastery of six Arabians, while in ring two, Gunther handles a dozen Lipizzans. Watch the Big Bay do a fantastic solo routine. They all love the horses. But Kim still had only one thing on her mind. Uncle Tim and Joe set out to track her down, while the clowns served up a potpourri of hilarity during their walk-arounds.
Test tube baby. <laughs> Forget about the unicorn. There is no unicorn. Oh, excuse me. Can you have you seen the unicorn? I'm not the kid the unicorn. I don't know. I don't see the unicorn. I'm the flying Spaniards. Oh, I'm Kim. What do you do? Trapeze. The flying Spaniards. You know, the, the, the flyers. How long oh, have you been doing that? It's a long time. For five generations. Five generations? And are you all family? Sisters uh, and brothers. <laughs> These are your sisters and brothers? Can you imagine that? They're all brothers and sisters. And do you practice a lot? Three or four hours a day. Three? Every day? Every day. Yeah. Wow. When do you perform? Oh, right, right now. now. We gotta go. We, we, oh, gotta we, go. we want to see your act. Okay. A circus tradition of grace and beauty on the flying trapeze. From Mexico over rings one and three. The Flying España! trick on the flying trapeze, the legendary triple somersault, attempted over ring one by Ramon Espana, and over ring three by Ivan Espana.
gentlemen, the sensational Flying Spaniard. Our celebrated collection of crazy clowns bring back those glamorous days of Hollywood with valet parking for the big premiere provided by the Marx Brothers. And Uncle Sophie's rolling out that red carpet for which celebrity first? It's the little tramp, Charlie Chaplin. Next up is good old Buster Keaton. Whoops! That famous comedy team of Stan Laurel and his partner, Oliver Hardy. Ooh. I guess my little chicken name, W.C. Beans is the name of comedies, my guess. Look out, ladies, here's a man after your hearts. It's Rudolph Valentino. The human fruit bowl, Carmen Miranda. Ooh, la, la. King of the swingers, it's Tarzan. Ow! He never met a man he didn't like, Mr. Will Rogers. She never met a man she didn't like, it's Mae West. Hold on to your bananas, here comes King Kong! Little mop top herself, Shirley Temple. <laughs> on the trail of another big case, it's Sherlock Holmes. And the biggest star of them all, Frankenstein! Is this much fun when you were a kid? You bet it was. When I was a kid, I went to the greatest show on earth, Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus 2. It's been around for a long time. Amusing animal antics. In ring one, the renowned chimpanzees. In ring two, the Eric Braun dog. Russian Wolfhounds. Braun's act is a real family affair. He shares the Ring 2 spotlight with his wife Francine and their son Ricky and their daughter Nisha. 
the children have grown up with The Greatest Show on Earth traveling all over the country. But if you think it's all playtime for them with their dogs, you should know that the circus has a special school teacher who travels with the show and he makes sure the kids are up to date on their classwork. the renowned chimpanzees from Paris, France. They're making their North American debut with the greatest show on Earth. in ring three, Tina Gable with her Russian wolfhound. Monique and Andre are a brother and sister team from France. Five-year-old peanuts ascending in that balloon. Watch yourself, peanuts. That first step is a winner. the way these dogs are trained, isn't it? If you have a dog and want to teach him the basics and some of the same tricks you just saw, keep an eye out for an upcoming home video from the circus that will show you how. Chimpanzees and T. 
Tina's Wolfhound. Kim got that look in her eye, unicornomania. But the Tita board acrobats kept her riveted to her seat. In ring one, from Hungary, the Kish Faludi. In ring three, from Bulgaria, the Dukovi. And in ring two, from Romania, the Konstanti. Activity. That's the flying, flipping Dukovi. In ring one, the Kishvaludi troupe's star attraction is little Attila Turek, only 17 years old. And in ring two, the Constantine are an award-winning performing group that have earned accolades and applause the world over. discovered by Kenneth Bell on one of his many talent searches throughout Eastern Europe. Ranging in age from a tender 13 to only 37, these 13 Romanian athletes are the youngest Tietoport troupe in the world. ever in all three rings, a double backward somersault to a five-man high.
Constantine and the Duke of Ish. I bet that took your mind off the unicorn. No, it didn't. The greatest show on earth is proud to present for the first time in America the most daring exhibition of breathtaking balance. At the very apex of the arena, the sensational Sabu! Sabu Alegria is the newest member of a famous family of circus performers who have come from Mexico. He learned his trapeze art from his grandfather, who is one of the most famous aerialists of his time. And yes, Sabu works without a net. What is Sabu going to do with that handkerchief? Oh no, he's going to attempt to pick it up with his teeth. Remember, he has no net below him.
and gentlemen, the incredible Sabu. Uh-oh, Kim still had to find her unicorn. And that brought her to the most secret of all places backstage at the circus, Clown Alley. She'd soon meet Kenneth Feld, producer of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Mr. Feld said that for as long as there'd been circuses, there had always been clowns. But about 20 years ago, clowning had almost died away. But Mr. Feld's father, Irvin Feld, saved the art of clowning by starting Clown College at the circus's winter quarters in Venice, Florida. It's an old tradition of the circus that Clown Alley is private property for clowns only. It's usually off limits to non-clowns, but since Kim was with the producer, it was okay for her to be there just this once. My five. Get down. Kim, I'd like you to meet Uncle Soapy. Not this guy, this guy. You know, oh, he's, he's been with the circus 38 years. Wow. <laughs> Kim, I've got to go now, but I'm going to leave you with Jim, because he's the boss clown. But one thing, very risky to be in Clown Alley if you're a civilian. Hey. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Boy, am I glad to see you. So are <laughs> look just terrific. Gee, can you fellows do anything for me? that clowns learn at Clown College are many. Still walking, tumbling, and enough juggling to light up the night. The clowns, and all circus performers, spend a lot of their free time practicing their craft, whether it's a trapeze artist or an animal trainer. That even includes the celebrated Gunther Gable Williams, whom Kim, Joe, and Uncle Tim watched in rehearsal between performances. What they watched was the making of a future tiger act. You know, when Gunther first starts working with young cats like these, he gets to know their individual personalities. Each one is different. Then he starts developing friendship and trust, and he makes sure they learn that he's the boss. It's then he begins teaching them to become circus stars. The greatest show on earth takes great pride in once again presenting the living legend of the circus, Gunther Gable Williams.
Gunther's rapport with wild animals is world famous. It's very difficult to begin training a new cat, he states. At first, you never know how smart he is, what his personality is all about. When I start with a cub, the first thing I do is give him a name. It must be short, easy to call, and not close in sound to any other animals. Until he's named, the newcomer doesn't feel part of the family. First thing a cat must learn is his place, his seat in the cage, reveals Gunther. After that, I must find what tricks are natural to him, the kinds of things he will have fun performing. The Gable Williams Tiger style has been praised by audiences and critics everywhere for its flair and originality.
Unicorns around here. We're just trying to get ready to go do our act. Well, what is your act? Well, we're called Satin. I'm Pamela, and this is Denise. Why Satin? Well, someone told us that we were smooth as Satin. Ooh, what kind of an act do you have? Well, we do a cradle perch act. Um, the catcher, and Denise is the flyer, and we twirl around and do different kinds of tricks up in the air. How high up do you work? Very high. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> exciting. Kim, I think we should go to our seats and watch their act. Yeah, we have to go right now. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 A breathtaking display of precision and beauty aloft. Over ring one, Saturn. And over ring three, the Franconi duo. The lovely Franconi duo leaves audiences spellbound with a dazzling display of aerial artistry performed high over ring three on a twin single trapeze. Peggy Mills of the Franconi duo grew up in a circus family. Her father owned the Mills Brothers Circus, which toured the Midwest, and her mother was once part of a teeterboard troupe from England. Peggy met Irene Espana and the rest of the Espana family on a trip to Mexico about ten years ago. The Espanias were impressed by Peggy's aerial talents and asked her to join the troupe. The duo has established a very rigorous training schedule to keep the act in top four. Satin is the first black aerial act to appear with the greatest show on earth. Denise Aubrey and Pamela Hernandez also are first cousins and created their breathtaking act together while working as dancers and showgirls with the circus.
Performing like that takes a lot of practice and study, just like school. And speaking of school... School days, school days, dear old golden rule days. Can I help you? Who are you? Well, my name is Eric Braun, and this is my dog, Shoopy. Oh, how cute. Mr. Braun, have you seen the unicorn lately? Not in the last few minutes. I've been so busy. We're getting ready. Shoopy and I are getting ready to go out and work in the arena. How long have you been in the circus? All of my life, and my parents before that, and their parents before that. Actually, my family's been in the circus business for six generations. That's a long time. Long time, really. How long have you been a clown? Well, I started as a clown back in 1968. I went to the very first Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Clown College that they had, and I've had so much fun. And I suppose Shoopy went to college too. Well, actually, he didn't, but uh, I got him from a dog pound, and I've noticed that sometimes 
dogs from the dog pound are the ones who need people most. Would you like to see some of the things that he could do, though? Oh, just yeah. to show you how smart sure. he is? Sure. Okay, would you like to just say goodbye to everybody? Come on, Shoopy, say goodbye. Hi. Everybody just wave goodbye and he'll say goodbye to everybody. That's great. Oh, you know what? It's time for me to go. I've got some trunks to deliver and it's time to work. Bye bye and good luck. Bye. bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the comedy of Eric Braun and the Soupy.
still looking for the unicorn? Yeah, have you seen him yet? No, let me get up a little higher and take a look for you. Hey, Dr. I don't see it right now. Don't you ever get scared up there? Never. I grew up with all these animals. Uh, how many elephants do you have? Twenty. Twenty elephants? Do elephants have names? Every one of them. <laughs> What's this elephant's name? Nellie. Nellie? How big is he? She's about 11 feet. When do you work? Well, we better go, because it's time for our act. OK. Well, we'll Bye. go back to the seats. Bye. OK. Come on, kids. I love the elephants. Doesn't Uncle Tim know the circus is for kids? Of course he does. That's why he's here. Come on. <laughs> Presenting our precision packagers, trained and exhibited by Gunther Gable Williams and featuring Mark Oliver Gable. will command an entire herd of elephants by his voice alone. The elephant is the largest of all land animals. Often referred to as pachyderms, they are grayish in color with one inch thick skin covered with sparse bristles. Both African and Asian elephants are vegetarian with a special fondness for fruits, berries, and sugar cane. Elephants are extremely intelligent and can be trained to respond to at least 30 commands. Who said an elephant never forgets?
The greatest show on earth is a traveling zoo. All told, now get this, there are 20 elephants, 23 tigers, two camels, six chimps, a llama, and 31 horses. Each week, they gobble down 11 tons of hay, 350 pounds of meat, 400 pounds of carrots, and not to mention 150 loaves of bread. What a food bill. we call Prodigious Packaders, presented by Gunther Gable Williams and Mark Oliver Gable. All eyes aloft and hold on tight. On the high wire, pyramiding paragons of the silver strand. Columbia, South America, the Postal Also brothers, Jaime, Alberto, and Eduardo are 20, 21, and 22, and have been performing together as long as they can remember. Their father was a circus superintendent in their native Peru. 
As soon as they could walk, he had them training on the low wire and gradually inched it higher and higher. Arena floor. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, there is no net. The postals are moving on a steel cable five eighths of an inch thick. Cycle Madness from Brazil, the Urias Troop.
gaze on the giant globe of death as the Urias troop tempts fate by presenting for the first time four people and three giant machines performing a feat that defies reality. From Brazil, the incomparable Urias Group. Ladies and gentlemen, the children of all ages, producer Kenneth Bell invites you to an event unparalleled in circus history. A stupendous spectacle where myth becomes reality and the unbelievable and inconceivable pass before your very eyes. It's time to unbridle your imaginations as our winged horses are ready and waiting to take you on the adventure of a lifetime. Join us as we celebrate the fantasy.
across into a time and place filled with awesome splendor. A world where comical creatures and beastly buffoons frolic in the spotlight of your mind. today. But I saw a picture of it when we were coming in. It was so beautiful. Lovely. That was just a picture. There was never a unicorn then, and there is none now. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, in the tradition of Jumbo the Elephant, General Tom Thumb, and Gargantua the Great, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus once again stretches fantasy to the limits of imagination as the greatest show on earth presents that elusive creature of fable and legend, the sensation of the ages, the living unicorn.
your spirits fly through a bright and shining sky. Well, Kim finally found the living unicorn because this is the place where dreams become reality. And tonight, we'll all have dreams of the circus, the greatest show on earth.